All right, folks, you asked for it. I got it. PSA AK105. Let's get this review started. All right, folks, as I said, this is a PSA AK-105. It is chambered in 5.45 by 39. Let's go ahead. This is actually a really feature-rich gun. It's got a lot of cool stuff on it. Okay, so let's start at the back here. We do have a SB Tactical a Triangle uh, folding brace right here to fold it. You're gonna push up and close that over like so. Uh, you can still get access to all of the controls, including the trigger, so you can fire this gun with the brace closed, uh, no problems whatsoever. you also notice that it's attached with a one screw down here on this uh, 1913 pick rail. So if you want to switch it out, it's really easy to do that. Or if you just want to take it off for whatever reason, uh, you can do that, no problem. All right, so we have a takedown button right here. Um, we'll go over that in just a second. And let's go and look at the receiver. The upper and lower receiver look really good. The rivets all look excellent, uh, no problems there. Um, you'll notice here we have a 1913 pick reel and we do have a iron sight at the back here. Typically, you would see that up here you know, with, with the ranging out to 800 yards, uh, but we have the iron set back here. Now, this is actually a hinged uh, dust cover, which I do like, so we'll go over that in a second. And I actually really do like that iron sight at the back. Um, so I do like that too. I think that's kind of a nice touch. Uh, a little different than having it, as I say, up here. Now, on the other side, we do actually have a mount for us for your side mount that would come up and go over which seems a little strange because we do have the 1913 pick rail already up here and it does have that on the side now um, some people might prefer that some people believe that you know with a dust cover sometimes you might have a shift in uh, your zero i haven't experienced that um, but i guess you have the option to whatever you prefer so more options the better as far as i'm concerned choose what you like <laughs> All right, so we obviously have the standard safety lever here. Again, I do like the extended tab down here that I can manipulate the safety with my index finger. Moving down, we have a Magpul grip here and it has a little storage compartment on the bottom. One of the things that I really like about uh, these AKs is the uh, the AK ALG, excuse me, the ALG AK trigger. These are really nice triggers. I'm a big fan. I used them many times before um, in my reviews uh, with AKs. So let's go ahead and look at it. You got a little bit of take up, and I mean just a little. Very clean, positive uh, tactile break. Let's check the reset. Just got a little bit let out. Very positive, very tactile. Really do like those triggers a lot. You can actually, you know, they're, they've got such a short reset as well. So you can get up to, uh, you, you can get some speed going with those triggers. I do like it. Uh, I do like it a lot. Comes with your st standard paddle mag release, uh, which I do also like. I, I feel like they're very intuitive for me. I do like those a lot. So moving up, we have a JL billet. Uh, this is the upper and lower handguard part here. Very nice, uh, really nice quality handguard. You have the 1913 pick rail, so you get some more spacing up here. You have M-lock slots at the three, six, and nine o'clock position, so plenty of room to add whatever you need. So under the handguard here, we have a 12 and a half inch barrel. It is a one in 10 twist, and it is a, it's made out of 4150 chrome molly steel barrel and a gas nitride finish. And at the front here, we do have a, a bit of a linear compensator at the front, and you can see in here. You can take this off by pushing that little detent down right here, and you can unscrew this and change it out if you want to. Um, now, the overall fit and finish on the outside of this gun is really, really nice. Uh, very happy with it indeed. Um, now, to take this down, you're gonna push the button in. Let me just put this down a little bit. Push the button in so it goes past the dust cover and you can see here that it is hinged and I do like that it stays up there. So the guide rod and spring, and so you have your guide rod and spring here, you have your bolt and your bolt carrier grip here and your front trunnion, they're all actually uh, hammer forged parts and they're made by Toolcraft, just so you know. Now to take this apart, you're just gonna push forward on that guide rod and spring and it comes out like so. Now actually my trigger is up, push that down. Slide back on your bolt and your bolt carrier 
and that is it stripped like so. Inside looks good. Fit and finish it, as I said, already is very nice indeed. All right, so we're back together. So yeah, the overall fit and finish and the internals and everything else, I think they've done an absolute, they've done an excellent job and I really do love that, that uh, ALG AK Trigger, ALG AK Trigger, um, I am a big fan. So, all right, so let's talk about shooting this gun. Shooting this gun was so much fun with that 545 by 39 round. There's very little, very, very little recoil. It makes it very soft shooting. And again, with that trigger from ALG, you can get up and running really fast with this gun. It was a ton of fun to shoot. I really did enjoy shooting this one. There's a lot of different varieties of this uh, this model out that, a, that PSA has. They have ones without the brace, they have ones with different furniture, you know. So you can get them from ranging from about $1,000 without a brace, all the way up to $1,300, depending on the setup that you like. I really like the setup. I really like, as I say, the modern um, rails that are going on the AKs, um, so I can attach whatever I need. I do like the, the more modern over the classic look personally. Maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, very cool. All right, folks, this one comes in at um, approximately $1,199, $1,199. Um, and I'll put a link in the description directly to this one and a link to the other models so you can check them out. Um, but so far, so good. Just remember, PSA does have a lifetime warranty on their firearms. Also, if you have any problems, hit them up. They will take care of you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, folks. If you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. Uh, links in the description, as I said, if you want to buy one. And if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it really does help me out. And I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right, folks, that's it. Until next time, I'll catch you later.